The actual moment when I got the idea for The Hunger Games, I was lying in bed late at night one night and I was channel surfing. And I found myself going in between reality television programs and footage of the Iraq War. And these images sort of began to meld together in my mind in a very unsettling way. And that's when it sort of struck me, this idea for the games. One of the things uh, that concerns me, and it goes back to that moment of inspiration where I'm clicking between the reality television programming and uh, the Iraq War, is um, we see so many images coming at us on television, over the internet, you know, on your Blackberry, whatever. You see so many images that do they all begin to have a sameness to them? Are you really distinguishing between the different things that you see on different channels? Are you really distinguishing if you're flipping through quickly? And I worry more about younger people, though maybe I shouldn't, maybe it's equal for all of us. When you flip from the game and then you flip to the war and then you're back on something else. Uh, when I was a child, my dad fought in Vietnam. The year I was six, he was gone for the whole year. He was career Air Force, he was a, uh, he was a historian, he was a doctor of political science, he was a military specialist, but he was also in the Air Force. And so I can distinctly remember when I was six years old, my mother tried to shield us from newscasts because we were little. Um, but I can remember there would be afternoons where you know, cartoons, whatever children afternoon programming was playing. There wasn't much of it at the time. This was back in the 60s. Um, where the TV would be left on and the news would come on and I can remember hearing the word Vietnam. I knew he was in Vietnam and I would look up and I would see the screen. Those were very graphic pictures and I was terrified. Of course I was terrified. My dad was over there, you know. I didn't know how to articulate it because I was six, you know. I didn't know exactly what it meant, but I knew he was in this very dangerous, threatening place where people died. And to this day, when I see footage, war footage, be it Iraq or Afghanistan or whatever, it still has a very powerful effect on me. And I'm sure it does on anyone who has a loved one over there. But I wonder for the people that haven't had it as a personal experience, how that feels. You know, that war, in many ways, we have removed it. People probably feel um, a lot more attached to the people that are on, say, Survivor or another reality show than they do to, unless, again, they know someone specifically to um, soldiers that are anonymous to them because we don't see enough of them, are not following it that carefully. You know, they have weeks and weeks to spend with the people on Survivor.